Hi there, I'm Ben from More Cycles in Twickenham. We're going to do some simple procedures on how to look after your bike. Now I'm going to show you how to fix that dreaded rear puncture. If you're replacing the tube on the rear, first thing to do is to knock the gears down, like that, and undo your rear brake. Pull the caterpillar or the little rubber bit across, then move it through and out the way, like that. Then flip the bike upside down. Then remove the quick release at the rear, like that. Push the mech back, then we pull the wheel away and get on with the puncture. Undo the valve cap, and then if it's a Presta, undo the valve locking ring. Then let the pressure out. If it's a puncture, it's probably already out. Starting opposite the valve, there's the valve. Lift up the first part of the bead and lock it behind on a spoke. Then press the tyre all the way around, especially if on a racing tyre, it's very important to take it out of the bead hook. Then with another tyre lever, move round from that tyre lever. And your tyre's off. Then going back to the valve, lift it up and out. Then with your finger, check around the inside of the tyre because something would have caused that puncture and make sure there's nothing still in there. You'll know, you'll know about it if you hit something. That's fine. Then get yourself a new inner tube. In your new tube, put a couple of pumps of air in it, just so it forms the right shape to go into the tyre. Like so. If it's Presta, do it up. Place it in the valve hole, once you find it. And inside the tyre. Work it round the tyre. So it sits in. Then put the locking nut on, just so it doesn't move around when you start working the tyre. Then starting at the valve, there's the valve, place the tyre inside the rim, working it round equal ways from the valve hole. Final bit, just give it a little bit of oomph. If it's a racing bike tyre, this might be a little bit more difficult. If it is, again, push in the bead to the inside groove of the wheel. This is very important. It'll give you a lot more room to play with when you might have to do the final little part of hooking it over the rim. Be careful not to pinch the tube. That's partly why we inflated it as well. So it goes inside rather than sitting on the outside and you pinch it when you put it in. Not a good idea. Now we're going to put some air in the tyre. Check the right PSI on the side and then pump it up. Make sure it's seated right as you're pumping all around. Make sure there's no little bulges or anything like that, otherwise it's another tube. Give a little bang if you want, just to seat it right. This one's going to go up to about 80, so I'll give it some more. There we go. Again, just press to do it up and put the valve cap on. Make sure the locking nut goes all the way to the rim as well. Now put the wheel back in. Lift up the chain. This is why it's important you knock it down to the bottom sprocket because then you just plonk it straight onto that sprocket and drop it back into the frame. Make sure it goes all the way into the dropouts. Quick release when you feel pressure at about 90 degrees, that's when you do it up. Spin it, make sure it's all spinning freely and there's no funny little bulges or anything like that. Then flip the bike back over.
and do the brake back up. Spin the wheel, make sure it's not dragging on the brake. Fine. And that is how you deal with the dreaded rear puncture. Wasn't so bad, was it? Thanks for watching. Check back soon for more videos.